Dude, buddy, the nightcap OG, Scott Bossman. How are you, my friend? Mark, uh, the land geek, I'm doing well. Thanks for, thanks for having me. So we've been going and doing these Facebook Lives, YouTube Lives, Periscope Lives every day consistently since quarantine. But now that the restrictions are loosening, this is our last week. I'm very sad about it. I'm also very freed up in a way mentally. <laughs> right. Um, but that being oh, we said, were talking yesterday, we're going to do, we're gonna do the coffee talk once a week. Yeah. Or am I doing Love it? Are idea. we doing it? What are we, is it a, a you and me thing? Like we'll have coffee together? What I, do, it, yeah, I think uh, we could have coffee together. I think Zeno would feel left out if he wasn't you know, included in the coffee. As long as Zeno's <laughs> drinking good coffee, he's not drinking Senka, right? right. Me. Folgers, then it's fine. <laughs> right. But I think Laura's making him like that Lebanese yeah, well, coffee, so it's all good. That sounds good. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to help my coffee game uh, after talking to you guys yesterday. Oh, my gosh. My coffee is so good. It, it's like the finest. It really is. Um, hello, hello. If you leave a comment, um, ask a question, you will be um, in the running for the $1,997 Investor's Toolkit giveaway on Friday, which will be our last one for a while. And um, if you have the toolkit, you can gift it to a friend. If you don't have the toolkit or, if you, or you don't want to gift it, you can go into flight school with it. Apply towards flight school. If you're already in flight school, apply towards coaching. If you're in coaching, apply towards software, whatever. Um, someone wrote, why does it have to be the last? Well, because we started this in, because of quarantine. This is, not the, this is just the last week. But then we'll, we'll just go once a week with a, uh, a Facebook Live and do a coffee talk and still answer questions and come up with themes and have some fun and see what Bossman's like hopped up on caffeine. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> so there you go. Michael Newell says hello. He says, and the streak continues. See, Michael, we're consistent. Justin Landowski, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Justin. So Scott Bossman, we had an interesting topic we wanted to discuss today. What's our topic again? Well, uh, so many of us, Mark, are looking forward to uh, the sequel to Dirt Rich. And I am very curious about, uh, you know, what, what's your plan for that? What, what, what type of things are you going to be talking about and what's the content? Okay, so this is the idea. And look, I'm flexible like a yogi. Leave in the comments if you don't like the idea. I think I should alter the idea because I'm really, I've, I've got the outline done, but I'm, I'm flexible. Okay, so Dirt Rich was basically my story, my journey, the mistakes I made, and then gives you an overview of the land business. So if you apply what you learned in Dirt Rich, it will solve a money problem for you. However, that's not why anybody wants to go into business. We want to solve a money and a time problem. And so I was thinking like a good example, I was going to put this in the book, so Scott, have you ever seen um, Penn and Teller in Vegas? Oh yeah. You've, have you seen? Them? I've never seen him in Vegas, but I've I've seen him on TV. Okay, so so Penn and Teller are these two magicians. They've been doing it for years and years. They're super successful act in Vegas. So I would say that when you first start in the land business, you're like Penn and Teller, and you're making good money. It's great. It can move the needle. But I'd rather be the blue man group. The blue man group scales. Those people in the blue man group, that's, that is a, a good business because you can have the blue man group every night of the week, different people. doesn't matter. There's no mm -hmm. burnout necessarily. You've got that structure and that scales. So now the people that created the blue man group yeah, they were probably the original blue men, but then they got themselves out of it and hired new blue men to take their place. And I would bet that their net worth and Penn and Teller's net worth are vastly different. And I bet their quality of life 
and Penn and Teller's quality of life because after you do a thousand shows, you're probably a little burnt out is very different. Mm -hmm. So the second book then is, well, how do you become the Blue Man Group? How do you get yourself out of the land business? How do you scale a land business and what does it take? And so I was going to take people step by step sort of through the, the mindset of it and then you know, what do you pay an intake manager? How do you hire an intake manager? What does the intake manager do, right? Um, how do you get a list, scrub a list, price a list, hire someone to do those things, teach them, create the systems, create the processes. How do you create swim lanes? Um, and so you can travel around the world after reading this book and know, oh, here's how they do it. And, and that was the idea. What do you think? I love that, Mark. I, I love it. Are you going to talk at all about the, uh, the the value of your time in the book? Like, you're going to give us some numbers about, you know, because I remember I remember our first conversation about LG Pass a couple of years ago. You're like, you know, Scott Todd and I did the math, and based on what we're what we're current, you know, based on our current time, what the current value of our time, you know, cutting it down to these processes scaling scaling process down to minutes is saving us this amount of time which in turn is saving us this amount of money if you really think about it are you can talk about that in your book at all oh absolutely that's that's like the beginning chapter of the mindset because if you don't have the mindset of, of valuing your time correctly even an aspirational hourly rate then you're going to really fight this whole process but once you're crystal clear on the value of your time you're going to really not feel like doing $5 an hour work, $10 an hour work, $50 an hour work, $500 an hour work is really not going to be worth your time as a CEO of your land business. And then it'll be much easier for you to, you know, implement and put those systems and processes in place and, and really start getting out of it. But until you're really clear on it, it's hard because it's like, like what you said, Scott, like even one task, let's say, that might take you two minutes to do. It's probably in the, in the short term, it's so much easier for you to just do it. But when we right. figure out like, oh, if we can eliminate that two minutes for the rest of my life, so I can spend those two minutes doing something that's more impactful and pay somebody five bucks to do it, I'll go through the headache of that 30 to one ratio of spending at least an hour with that person training them. So if it takes me two minutes, then I'm going to spend 60 minutes training them, 30 to one ratio. So we got a bunch of uh, questions and comments, Scott. Um, awesome. First awesome. of all, Jen Ramquist says, hey, afternoon, guys. Guess who's on? Aloha Racine, the land deal machine. The machine. From uh, Hawaii. Hi, Racine. Of course, Dr. Don Perez is right there on YouTube. Uh, Don, the land arb queen. Grateful for the time you shared with us. Um, great. Thank you, Don. Jason Hoffman says, hey, guys, what's the word? Great catching you today. Um, and Don, I didn't mean that to be like blowing you off. That was really sweet, by the way. Um, I'm, we're, we're really grateful that you jump on these consistently and, and leave comments and add value. Um, I'm just going quickly. Jason Hoffman. Hey. Uh, oh, yeah. I already said, hey, Jason. What's the word? Joseph Abusi. But in land, you get to blink and not have blue paint in your eyes. Win for land. It's so true, Joseph. <laughs> it's safer than the blue man group, too. Mm -hmm. No inventory. Nothing to protect. Um, Johnny Morrow. Hey, fellows. What is the not so obvious things, habits, practices you've picked up recently that has changed your businesses? Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, re repeat the question, Mark. Um, what is the not so obvious things, habits, practices you've picked up recently that has changed your businesses? Oh, that's, that's a very good question. New recently, that's changed well, businesses. Or I, I tell you what. I mean, uh, talk about the time value of, of money or talk about the, the aspirational hourly uh, uh, rate, right? Um, and the value of your time. Like yesterday, I, I needed to get something notarized and um, 
you know, typically up until even recently, I'd be like, okay, I got to go to the bank. Now, Mark, you got to realize the bank for me is like five minutes down the road. So it's a five minute trip there. Uh, uh, Lately, they're doing stuff like they're catering to people out in the parking lots. You might have to wait for five minutes until you're escorted in the building, sit down for another five minutes, get your document notarized, come back home. By the time I get home, it's a half hour of my time gone. And I'm like, yesterday, you know what? That's just goofy. I'm, I'm going to get on online notary.net and I'm going to get this deed notarized. And it literally took five minutes of my life versus 30 minutes. So that's an example of something I'm doing more uh, recently that, I don't know, I, is it 20 bucks? Yes, but I save a half hour of my time, uh, which I can go utilize elsewhere. Uh, so that's something uh, that I've been doing uh, lately. Um trying to think what else though nothing else has significantly changed uh of late uh for me yeah i mean i'm still i mean the habits i've i've um really sort of tried to stay consistent with which would be you know meditating working out reading thinking um those things i think i've just try to maintain consistency with right. I think they all are the are the habits that I've um, cultivated that I think have helped me uh, not just get to the next level in in business but also just life where yeah. um, I just feel better about everything that I'm doing <sighs> even if things aren't necessarily going my way in the moment I just feel better about it so I yeah. I it's, I mean, it's funny we're talking about habits. I just reread Atomic Habits this last weekend. Um, and I'd read it a long time ago, uh, but I reread it again. It, you know, it, it, it propelled me to, to make some changes because I've been better about working out lately, but I want to be, be even better yet. So, you know, I've been doing maybe three, four days a week on the Peloton or whatever. So as a result of listening to that again this weekend, I just blocked out my calendar every single day at the same time. And, and I have the luxury to do that, thank, thank goodness. But now it's on my calendar. I'm thinking about it. It is, you know, I'm three days in, actually four days in, and I can already feel it becoming a habit. And that can really apply to the land business as well. I mean, you get in the habit of when you're first starting out in flight school, mailing 20 a day and blocking out the 15 minutes it takes every day to get, the, get those 20 names uh, uploaded into LG Pass. Not even that, not even that long, but to, to consistently do these things in the beginning, um, to create the habit, which then creates, you know, this, uh, continual action and, and, uh, gets you to the point where, um, you're, you're taking, it's just consistent. Uh, and then the consistency is what gets you the results in the end. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I, I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, so we got a couple more comments. Uh, Dr. Dawn says, I love that, Mark. I was just telling your scene. This is what we're working on next. Uh, great. That's so good. And they have such a nice piece of momentum going into it so that it's easier seeing that money coming in to be able to reinvest so that they can get themselves out of it. And, and that's really how you scale. Right. Um, absolutely. But it, it's hard at first. It's, it is really hard. And you've got to have that mindset. Uh, minor one, how mm -hmm. often do you update your flight school program? That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> every, every day we are going to try to improve. Yeah. <laughs> Daily. I mean, it, the great thing about flight. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, every flight school is a little different because Scott Todd's teachings reflect what he's doing today. So, and what he's doing today is different than what he was doing a year ago. Um, and, uh, you know, so, so I would say it's very cutting edge. That's what I always tell people. It's very cutting edge. Uh, the toolkit, while it's a great product, like Scott Todd says, is a big brain dump of information. It's hard to keep a toolkit online cutting edge. So you have to take that information and combine it with all this other stuff and put together this big puzzle. But uh, the fly school is very cutting edge for sure. Yeah, I, I love the toolkit for some people. But for mm -hmm. most people, they need flight school because you need the accountability. You need that motivation to do something together as a group, all with the same common goal. It's very, it's very special. It's a very, very special thing. Yeah, for sure. As, as opposed to being lonely 
trying to figure stuff out. And even if you're, you know, you're in the Facebook motivation group, it's very different than when you have your class and everyone's going through this together. It's like, it's like, an, like army buddies, if you will. Right. You, you make some great connections out of it, lifelong friends out of it. Adam Igloff and uh, Paul Brewer, they, they didn't know each other until flight school. I don't think Dawn and Racine knew each other right. until flight school, even though they're both in Hawaii. So yeah. it's, it's, it's really, really special. Um, I love the, I love the inside baseball here. Let's see if you get this, uh, Scott Bossman, Jason Hoffman, they uh -oh. talk about dirt rich two colon threat level orange. Threat Ooh. level orange. Do you know what that's from? Uh, what is that from? I believe that was the name of the, uh, the screenplay that Michael Scott wrote in the office. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Jason, let me know if I'm right, but I think that's that's the inside joke. Um, Natalie so Mino, well. what book is this again? This is so timely for us. I'm not good at delegating, but I'm changing my mindset. So Natalie, this is the book. So I got, and it's now time for shameless plug, Scott Bossman. I've got Dirt Rich <laughs> available on Amazon.com. Um, so Dirt Rich is great, right? It's a nice fundamental overview of the land business in my story and dirt richer or whatever the sequel is going to be is not it's going to be for people that are really more advanced in they're already in the land business but i want to get them out of the land business and, and help scale it so we'll briefly talk about the fundamentals of it but it's gonna be more mindset and getting yourself out of the land business step by step who to hire how to hire when to fire what to pay them how to create the processes, how to create the systems, what tools you can use to help you do it. And, um, and really, so you solve your money problem, you solve your time problem, and be completely free. Because Natalie might know, you didn't get into this to get yourself another job. Right, Scott? That's exactly right. Yeah. I mean, Scott and I can go guilt-free on that Peloton. We're not calling up HR. Hey, we've got to take the day off. We're sick. And then we're on the Peloton. <laughs> Like we're doing, we, we do what we want, when we want, where we want. Yeah, I mean, so this is really about total, total freedom. Um, right. Andrea Miller. Hello, gents. Very grateful for all the content these past few weeks. Thank you, Andrea. Very grateful for you as well being on. Um, Unknown says, can I get a, a signed advanced copy of the next book? Unknown, if you send me your address, absolutely. Absolutely. It's uh, uh, it's Dr. Lance Ellis. Is Mark. that oh then yeah if it was Dr. Lance for sure, um, Dr. Don Pereza says no offense taken, Don's got th some thick skin there. I like that. Uh, Derek Hoffman, hey guys, what's up, Derek? Uh, Natalie Mino, do you get a VA for accounting? Ooh, Scott, that's a good question. Do you get a VA for accounting? Uh, we just have a bookkeeper, so um, every every month we give her statements and off she goes how much uh, i i guess you could uh that's a good question it's like uh it's like 18 bucks an hour or something um it's you're, pretty you're, pretty affordable you're way overpaying you gotta talk to scott todd like he's paying like all right i will talk to scott a todd. great bookkeeper overseas but how much like five an hour oh all right, I will talk to him. Not, not, I mean, she only works a couple hours, couple hours a month. But oh, okay, but not not taxes, like like bookkeeping. Oh, yeah, bookkeeping. Yeah, exactly. And then you know, my accountant's really affordable. We have an accountant at the end of the year. It's really affordable, crazy uh -huh. affordable. So you're not using Craig? I'm not. I'm not using Craig. No, I was using a guy before. I I took Craig's principles and kind of said, "Hey, Jeff, this is what we want to do," and he's like, "Okay, cool." I'm really overpaying. Just kidding. Look, it's, it's fine. <laughs> um, so, Natalie, I wouldn't get, I'd get a VA for bookkeeping, not accounting. Uh, for sure. Okay, right. Gianni Morrow, I'm almost finished with Atomic Habits right now. Scott, great reread. Mark, definitely going to start some of those life changes. Very nice answer. Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate it. Um, hey, guys. Thanks for teaching these things to others. My wife and I just sent our first... 100 offer letters yesterday. Give it up for unknown. Everybody clap. That is, uh, that's, 
Mark, that's Nathan and Darian Volts, and they won the toolkit uh, a few weeks ago. So, Nathan and Darian, congrats. That's awesome. Yeah. I see. I love, cool. I love that they're taking action on it. Um, yeah. Dawn says, yeah, her, her and Racine did not know each other. That's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, okay, Jason Hoffman, a play on it at least. I think it was threat level midnight. Okay, you're right, Jason. It was, it was threat level midnight, but at least I got the threat level. <laughs> so I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Uh, um, Kebabayan uh, Place. Hi, guys. How do you price your offers? Do you, do you use a data company market value and multiply your percentage or do you use MLS comps and multiply your percentage? Oh man, he's he's really uh, new. Kevin Bayan, right? You're gonna take the lowest comps and divide by four. So where do you get your comps? Where do you get your comps? Landmoto. Yeah, Landmoto. Yeah. Uh, Facebook Marketplace. You can look at Zillow in some markets. Uh, the other land selling websites. And then uh, keep track of uh, Facebook ads. See what other people are listing properties for on Facebook um, and Craigslist. Yeah. Um, Johnny Morrow says, where can we uh, get Scott Todd's accounting class? Is that, I think it's Investor Ninja. Johnny, I, yeah. Yep. I can email you. Johnny, I have to email you anyway today. Or, no, I already did, but I'll, I'll email you the link to it. Oh, uh, who's, it's a great who's, class. Who's asking you this? I'm really annoyed now. What are your thoughts on using Venmo and PayPal to accept payments? Who is that, Scott Bossman? Oh my, my feathers are <laughs> I'm in not a gonna ruffle. Say. <laughs> Who is this? It's it's Matt. It's Matt M. Matt I'm M. Matt M. I'll tell you my thoughts on using Venmo and PayPal to accept payments. Go to GeekPay.io. Do it the right way. It is. Payment processing for land investors. It's a set it and forget it system. Now, that being said, okay, when you're first starting out, if you're down payments, you can't use PayPal. They don't accept it. Venmo is a little different. It's, it's more personal. I don't know if you want to use Venmo, but for recurring payments, you can't do it. Um, you can't automate it. So I would look at geekpay.io for sure and, and do those things. Um, but as far as you know, like a down payment, if you didn't, if you know, if you didn't want to use GeekPay, I, I like Checkbook.io, or even just a Stripe plugin you could do, uh, for sure. What about you, Scott Bossman? Yeah, I mean, obviously using GeekPay, uh, it's really easy, Matt, to to get a Stripe account set up and get signed up for GeekPay, and and the, it's it's awesome because you can. Uh, generate down payment links and embed those onto your website. Uh, provide those right in the chat when you're talking to somebody on Facebook or email or whatever. Um, as far as he might be asking Mark about repeated monthly payments. And, you know, I think, I think well, PayPal is going to look, you will not look fondly on that. No, no, you can't do it. I mean, legally they'll, they'll kick right. you off. So um, right. you can't use Stripe for monthly recurring payments. You can't use PayPal. You can't use Venmo legally they will kick you off you have to if you're doing recurring payments you have to use hch it's just the law i didn't make the law um but that's what it is now if you're doing cash payments and you're doing flips yeah you might be able to get away with those things for a while um but again it's it's a risk for sure um so yeah i mean but your first month is free on geek pay play with it use the down payment links then up to 10 notes it's only 49 bucks a month and if you do it the correct way which is you charge your borrower a one-time note setup fee of 249 dollars and then you charge a monthly note collection fee of 12 bucks a month geek pay my friend is the only software i know of that only doesn't just save you time it actually makes you money and we structured the pricing that way so it would actually make you money so Try it out for free for one month. See if it helps you. Um, if you don't, then just, you know, I don't know. I guess, well, well, how else would you do it? I guess you could just manually keep an Excel spreadsheet and and use like a checkbook.io. 
Right. Something, something like that. Um, let's see. Somebody unknown said, we'll miss being able to have these daily Facebook lives, but we'll be looking forward to the coffee talks. Yeah. We'll drink coffee together. It'll be like the reverse nightcap. Okay, Just fine. let's not have coffee talk the, the morning after nightcap. Oh, that'd be even better. <laughs> That's my only stipulation. I know. Scott's <laughs> bringing in like an ice pack. Like, <laughs> good morning, everyone. Uh, <laughs> I guess that bland uh, bourbon did not sit well with me last night. <laughs> uh um, oh, Michael Newell says, I gotta be honest. I'm going to miss these Facebook live sessions. You should consider doing one a week. No, we are. We're going to do it. Michael once a week on pair on, on, yeah, just like this, but with coffee, probably in the morning, one morning, like probably a Friday morning, Scott and I will do this for sure. So we're not going to go away. We're just not going to do it every day. Um, Chris Grassman. Anyone else having trouble with Facebook groups lately? I can't get any of my property picks to get past the filters in the last two weeks. What's all that about? Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, Mark. I don't know specifically. I, I would say though that I'm seeing the same thing. It's, it's weird. Like on marketplace ads seem to be fine, but then, you know, my VA is like, Hey, when we post to marketplace, things are fine. But then when we post to these groups, they're getting, the ads are getting flagged. So I don't know if the groups have new filters on what can or cannot be posted or or what's going on. So maybe Mimi has some insight into that. But there has been a change recently. I just don't know what, what the workaround yet is. I mean, we've we've experimented with really short ads, like leaving a lot of mystery and and just putting one generic picture up. Those seem to get through sometimes. But uh, sometimes the more detailed ads and, and a lot of pictures, for whatever reason, they're getting... Uh, they're, they're getting blocked. And then you can send a message to the administrator of the group and see if they can give you some feedback too. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not that, that's a really good answer. I'm, I'm not that familiar with it. Um, Chris says, yep. Marketplace is fine. Groups are a complete shutdown. Glad to hear I'm not the only one. So they must've changed something in their algorithm on the groups uh, for sure. Um, so the, here's, here's a great, uh, comment from Peter Zeros. I just received my first surprise down payment via GeekPay. Yes. Yes. So Peter, why is, why was it a surprise? Did someone just go on the website and you embedded the link on your website or did you just get a bunch of questions and you emailed out the link? Like what made it a surprise? I'd be just curious. Um, if this is from unknown guys, I had a good response day for my mailings. I uncovered Two sellers I talked to today, they have over 400 parcels between them throughout the U.S. to sell to me. I am pumped to build my portfolio. Time to do a bit more research, but I think I'm onto something. You are onto something, my friend. Um, that's phenomenal. I love this business, Scott Bossman. I mean, you know, just that, just fishing every day, consistently. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you, you, you land, whoa, you land <laughs> the whale and 400 parcels. <laughs> Four hundred parcels. Yeah, Matt Forbes like recommended uh, the worst boom mic to me. By the way, he's in big trouble. Um, uh oh. Yeah, it, it moves the needle. Um, yeah. Michael Newell says uh, these Facebook sessions are awesome. You should consider. Uh, oh wait, no, he said that. Let's see. Chris Grassman, Don Presley, yeah, you're the best. Oh, unknown. This is Mike Ring. All right, Mike. Oh, wow, that's great. Good That's awesome. That's really great. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, the, the gold nuggets come if you just if you're like we we're talking about earlier. You create a habit, and you're consistent with your mailings. The the golden nuggets are going to show up. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, listen. Um, this has been really fun, but I know that Scott's got a call coming up. I unfortunately have nothing else to do except break my fast, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and actually spend some time with my kids whom are bored Yikes. because it's summer and Scott Bossman. There's nothing more exciting and anxiety provoking than when your 15 year old daughter says, dad, let's go driving. So she went, oh, I, I, took, I took her out yesterday and she was great. And, um, 
but now it's like my like she's not my baby anymore she, she's like learning to drive so sad they, they grow up really fast um really do yep all right i'm gonna go cry in my my lunch uh everybody else have a great wednesday thanks again for your comments your support um, we will miss doing this as well but we will do our final giveaway on friday and then scott and i will be gearing up for the new segment of facebook lives coffee talk once a week hopefully scott won't be uh hungover no <laughs> no, no i only drink scott. once a week now mark <laughs> really come on no. now, are mean, you including nightcap no i'm including night like that's my one time a week that's it no it's that's not true but we'll, yeah, I, we'll yeah. find a morning that, uh we're, we'll find a morning where I'm feeling good. Yeah, this, sure. this, is, this is my impersonation of Scott Bossman. Hey, Mark, I'm only drinking once a week. That does not include nightcap or Mondays. <laughs> or actually when there's sunset, sunrise and sunset in Wisconsin. Other than that, uh, it's just once a week. That's it. Once a week. Oh, man. All right. No All right. nightcap tonight, by the way. Um, Zaynos is working, so we're doing nightcap tomorrow night. Tomorrow oh, night, fun. 10 p.m. Eastern. All right. Well, we'll see everybody maybe, hopefully, tomorrow. Scott, are we, are we doing one tomorrow? I know we're well, doing Friday. Well, we can't break the streak. We got just a couple days left. That's true. Well, I'm I'm definitely jumping on. I don't know if you can. I, I should be able to. Yeah. So. All right. All right, man. Well, thanks, everybody. Thanks for being on with us. And uh, Scott Bossman, we're going to all do this together. One, two, three. Let Let freedom freedom ring. Ring. And? Wash them. Wash wash your hands. Wear, Wear a mask. Be safe out there, everybody. All right. Thanks, everybody. See everybody tomorrow. Thank you. Scott Bossman, I love you, man. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Bye.